Hey guys, it is Miriam from Thrive with your top tip today. And we've been talking a little bit about quizzes and forms. And what I wanted to do was show you some of the ways that the data can be reviewed and interrogated and analyzed in a quiz that's a little bit different to a form. So we've got a couple of options here. You'll see when I go into my, uh, from my form, uh, my quiz in the view responses section we've got the usual section down here which has all of the individual answers with the pretty graphs and charts the difference here is that it shows me the response the number of responses the average score of all responses uh, and the average time taken so that's all fairly standard and then we go through our individual responses the insights section we get a couple of things we get our excel spreadsheet the same as we do in a form and it will walk through and talk about who has chosen what and how many points they get if it's a points-based score system. But the other thing we can do here, we can review the answers. So this would be the same as when we are looking at the individual results. So if I go review answers, what we can do is it's showing me what they've chosen and where they've chosen it, which is and it's auto graded. But what I can do is I can also now provide individual feedback. So I could say, did you forget this question? Go back to section whatever of the book or don't forget to check out the video you'll find on the portal or whatever it might be. So I can provide feedback based on their responses. The other thing that I can do is that I can post the scores. Posting the scores allows me to give the respondents access to see the feedback and results. So once I've gone through and done all of that, I can then post it so that they will see it. If I preview it, you'll see this is what they're going to see. So this is, again, a way for you to provide feedback and personalise that response, which can be really, really handy depending on the type of information you're looking at and the type of assessment and the sort of information that you're assessing. So create a quiz, have a play, get some dummy scores in, you know, make a few yourself, get someone else to do it and have a look at how you can use these features to streamline the way you manage things.